I am now the proud owner of a wrecked 2022 BRZ, but not this one. Oh, Jim got me weak. Oh. A few weeks ago, I realized that I was running out of content, and that is simply because I was throwing too much money at this car. So instead, I've decided to go ahead and take all this money and throw it at this car. I literally bought fake money just for this part of the skit. Why, why would I buy another BRZ? What? Why, Brandon? Why? You already have one. That's a good question. I don't even have the answer to that one. But what I do know is I got this car for a really good deal. This journey started on Copart. I was just looking at cars all over, trying to figure out if I should buy a BRZ, an SI, an IS300, a Mustang, or Camaro. There was, just, there was a lot of weird options, and this is what we ended up finding and bidding on, and we won it at the most iconic number we could have won this car at, and that was 8,600. <laughs> no shit. The GR86. Yes, I know it's a BRZ. After winning the bid, I submitted the paperwork, had the car shipped from Virginia, and the car literally came a week later. Oh, dude, she's pretty. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah, put it back on. Damn. She's Bro. <laughs> oh, this is Landon from Risen, Kansas. Yeah. This is, this is so cool. Crash bar actually looks okay i don't need to buy a new crash bar it was such an unreal feeling to see a project roll off that trailer to see a car that was going to be my project for the next one to two months my curiosity and excitement was just out the roof to, to dive into this car see what damage was done see what the history of this car was and look more into it so of course naturally we instantly started stripping the front off figuring out what was damaged what was not what do you mean you thought it was worse Oh, dude, this is so sick. It runs and drives and everything. Fur. Is that fur? That has to be Yeah, fur. I don't know. Oh, so good. The limited interior. This is the limited model, like not even the base model. Yeah. Damn. She's in here. And she's fucked. Uh, now that we're inside, we're going to try and get this T-brace off. Kind of look inside here. It's definitely gonna need a new radiator support. All right, full tear down complete. But uh, yeah, we got a good amount of this stripped up front. So the damage that we found was actually pretty minimal. All it came down to being was really just the radiator support. The crash bar wasn't even touched. It was insane. So all we ended up having to do is order a new rad support, new headlights, and some other stuff to go along with it, which you guys will see in this build series over time, which is super exciting. So as soon as we stripped everything, I instantly went and looked for parts to order. Oh, not the cat. You're ruining my shot. Hello. We, we dug more into it and we found out that this car was hit by a deer. Just focus on me, cameraman. <laughs> this car only has 20,000 miles with a clean title. The title has accident reported, but it wasn't enough to salvage the car. So $8,600 for a 20,000 mile clean title BRZ that only has radiator support damage. You guys know I had to go with this one. This engine, uh, FA24, great engine it's a great engine it runs really well this one here was untouched from the damage if you zoom in right here you can see absolutely untouched just this radiator support was smashed um, but the motor itself was untouched what was damaged in the accident was the intake the intake was shattered into pieces we found remnants all up in the engine bay luckily for us our good friend Devin from risen georgia had his stock intake off his gr86 so he instantly gave that to us and we went ahead and bolted it on with a new MAF sensor from subaru and we were golden let's go ahead and see what codes we can clear with the ecutech 
This shouldn't be, we should be able to get rid of the uh, check engine light maybe. Uh, our one check engine light is the mass airflow sensor. So yeah, so we have that fixed now. There you go. The check engine light should be gone now, now that that's sorted. No more DTC right here. Let's go ahead and check it one more time. Nope, no more. All right, cool. So theoretically, now this car should no longer be in limp mode. Um, I guess we're about to find out. This is technically our first drive in the BRZ. Um, obviously I own one, so this is nothing too new to me. <laughs> she drives, boys. The rest of the car, however, is in immaculate condition, which is expected from a 20,000 mile car. No dings, no dents, no rust, no paint chips. Key fob still works. And this is the premium BRZ. It has the Alcantara, the leather, the heated seats Alcantara. And here is the one problem with this beautiful, beautiful BRZ. It's an automatic. Uh, I'm not completely mad because me and Alyssa have two manual cars. This is nice to finally have an auto. To be honest, we've been looking at the Supra, so that's auto, you know. So far, I've been absolutely loving the automatic in this. I've been low-key dailying this, even though it's banged up. Right, so currently, we have a good amount of codes on the dash. Um, we have our traction and our steering wheel. A lot, a lot of these codes is because the clock spring is broken from the airbag deploying. Oh, and this is the best part. Look at this. See the horn? This is the horn cable. Watch. <laughs> oh, what? oh, that's a cop. Well, let's play it cool then. Are we getting pulled over, Reezy? I don't know for the content, bro. For the content? Say hi, cop. Yeah, that cop's definitely coming after us. He scooted up. We dipping. Oh, he's coming. 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 Reezy, hold on tight. Bro. Hold on tight. Yeah, but as you guys can see, we did it for the content. Car drives just fine. Super factory, 20,000 miles. This car was an absolute steal. It's gonna be an absolute blast to rebuild and um, modify. I think you guys are gonna like what we do to it. Hope you guys are excited for this car. I I've been keeping this a secret for like maybe two, three weeks now, uh, but it's finally time to get started. All the parts are ordered. We're gonna get this car back on the road and uh, see how our flipping journey begins. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I know you guys have seen this nice risen merch that I'm wearing, this hoodie and sweatpants. There's only so much left on the website, so uh, go ahead and check that out. That's also, it also should be our revised website. I'm not sure if we got it up yet or not, but we have a brand new website uh, that you guys can check out. But that's all I have for you guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to never stop dreaming. Oh, video's not over. Why is Brandon on ESRs? That's a good question, good question. We'll get into that in the next video where we talk about more about this car and what we're gonna do with it. But at the moment, I'm on the side of the road with a flat ESR. Look, it's a deep dish tire, yes. Well, the good news is the tire didn't de -bead. Yeah. The bad news is it exploded. Maybe we can fix it? No. Fix it or list it? Fix it. And then list it. No, it's not fix it or list it. It's Love it or list it. Sell it. it. Love it or list it. it. No, wait.